close the gap between where you are right now and where you want to be. And guys, this can be so much easier than you think. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary. I'm a manifestation coach. And if you resonate with this message, make sure to like this video and subscribe. If you would like to work together, that information is in the description box below for you, as well as the link to my meditation channel. So if you would like to subscribe there, please do. When you have a desire for something, there's a gap, right? There's a gap between you and your desire. And what we want to do is close that gap so that you are living it. Now, I'm going to make this really, really, really simple in this video. If you have a desire for something and you know you're the creator of your reality, you know that you can have, be, or do anything that you choose and you ask for something. If you were to never worry about that thing, it would manifest. You wouldn't even have to think about it. It would manifest, right? Why? It's your worrying about it. It is your trying hard to get it. It's the fixing mode that keeps you in the gap almost indefinitely because the state of the wish fulfilled the reality, the potential where you have that thing, you're not worried about it, right? So there's a very different feeling between this gap of you, you know, worrying about it, stressing about it, is it gonna come, can it happen, doubting yourself, um, focused on, you know, the limitations, complaining, reacting, all of that in the middle, in the gap it's very different to how that end state would feel, yes? And so, of course, manifesting something on purpose seems so difficult when we're just dealing, we're going, we're trying to work out this gap. We're trying to fix things and manifest things and change our thinking and all, all of this stuff instead of just embodying the end result, instead of just being the person who has it, being it, feeling it, Claiming it, knowing it, assuming it, showing up differently, making new choices in thoughts, feelings, and actions, moment by moment, showing up differently. In order to attract that new reality, to live it, to be in the state of the wish fulfilled, we must stop worrying about what we don't have, worrying about the issue. You can still be focused on it. You can still imagine it if you like, or focus on positive parts of it. But anytime you sit there and you complain about it or you just worry, you worry or you allow yourself to continue to react or feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad, and just keep it going and you do this consistently, which state are you in? The state of you know, the gap or the wish fulfilled? The state of where you're, that, that parallel reality. What are you unmatched to? And if you could, if you could just decide to the best of your ability each day, I'm gonna let go of worrying about this. I'm gonna let go of trying to fix it because you're not fixing anything. You're aligning with a different reality where it doesn't even exist or the unwanted thing doesn't exist. You have what you want. In this, this ideal reality, in this end state, the wish fulfilled, that version of you who has what you want, are they worried about it? Are they sitting there trying to fix it and constantly looking over what are they going to do and so focused on this subject that isn't working? No, they're not. They're probably not focused on that subject much at all because it's just flowing. Maybe they appreciate it here and there, right? Um, but they're not focused on it a lot. They're not worried about it. And so if you give up, the worry, you automatically move into the wish fulfilled, right? You're automatically in that state of, I have it. Even if you're not saying, oh yes, I have it. You don't have to say those words. In the moment you let go of worrying about it, of thinking so negatively about it, being sad about it, in that moment you make a new choice, a new better feeling choice. You shift timelines in that moment. What you want is automatically in place. So you must continue to show up differently to the best of your ability more often 
So you're in this state, which means you got to let go of worrying about this. So have you ever had, you know, you had an issue for the longest time and you were trying to manifest what you wanted or a solution and it just felt like this thing was just so like this weight on your shoulders, this problem, this area of your life that was not working. And finally, maybe after a long time, you closed that gap somehow and you got the solution, you got what you wanted. And it was like, oh, a weight had lifted, right? You got it, that's not a problem anymore. You don't even think about it. You don't worry about it. It's a non-issue. We all have examples of that, right? What I want you to know is that in the moment, in this moment right now, you have the ability and the choice to lift off that weight yourself. You can just pick that weight up, drop it. You don't have to keep carrying that around until you see some sort of evidence that things are working. It takes so long that way because it just doesn't work, right? But you carry all this weight, you carry all this negativity of like, oh, this problem, when in any moment you do have the choice and the ability to choose differently to be in that state of the wish fulfilled because you're not worried about it. Because you're choosing something else over worrying about it. Over trying to fix it or change it. That's the gap. You're trying to fix and change in the gap when you just need to come over here. You need to feel better or think differently, act differently. Let go of worrying. As soon as you let go of like needing to fix this thing in order to feel happy, you're going to be happy and then you're going to get the thing. You got to lift off the weight first. In order for something to manifest, we are kind of gradually lifting off that weight, but I want you to do it on purpose because you notice this is weighing me down. This thing, this condition is weighing me down. In order for me to manifest what I want, I got to lift off this weight. I want to be the deliberate creator, not just all oh, hoping and wishing something's going to happen. The universe is going to, Give me what I want. You are the universe. Like you are the, the God, the source, the higher mind. You're giving yourself what you want. But right here and now, you're not allowing yourself to receive it because you're so focused on, I don't have it. I'm worried about it. And that's what just needs to be let go. You have that choice in any moment. And you have to decide and you have to love yourself enough to do this. The moment that you actually choose this and you continue to choose, as soon as you choose to drop focusing on that negative thing or things that's not working, you automatically align with what you want. You automatically align with the reality that you do want. You don't realize it, but you do. That's exactly when you're not choosing to focus on the negative reality, the unwanted reality or potential, you automatically choose the opposite. You automatically choose to focus on the wish fulfilled. Again, even if it's not the specific thoughts in your mind of, oh, I'm focused on the money or the relationship or the body I want, you just stop focusing on the negative, puts you automatically over here in the wish fulfilled state. So the biggest missing piece here is that you must give yourself permission to let this go. Whether you focus on it or don't, that's up to you, but only focus on it if you're feeling good or if it feels good to do so, if it is inspired. Otherwise, you must give yourself permission to let go of thinking about this, of worrying about it, of trying to fix it, because you're lowering your vibration to which you just can't see the solution that already exists right here, right around every single corner. In every single moment, there are so many solutions and answers and wonderful things and surprises for you. And you hold yourself back from seeing them because you're lowering your vibration to where you can't see it through focusing on what doesn't feel good to you. You can only perceive what you are a vibrational match to, right? That's why when you, you as you raise your vibration, Consistently, you come across new information, new teachers, new ideas, new things because you're downloading all this new information to, because you move to a different frequency. And all frequencies, which is everything, 
right? Everything has a frequency. Everything is frequency and all frequency carries information. So depending on what vibrational frequency you're on right now, depends on what information you're downloading and what you're able to visibly see in your life. It's all here, but you can't see it until you are on the frequency of it. Let go of the weight. It is your choice. Choose you. Choose your happiness. Choose your alignment and let go of the weight. Just drop it. It's okay. It's okay to let go. Again, the reality that you want is not this one. There are, multi, there are all the infinite, infinite parallel realities simultaneously existing now. Everything only exists now, past, future, present, all now. That parallel reality has a different version of you who is not worried about this issue. If you wanna match that frequency, the fastest way to do that is to no longer worry about this issue or worry less each day, each moment, worry a little less, drop it a little less, react a little less, react a little differently, show up a little differently. Just let go. Allow yourself to feel peace, to feel good, even though this thing hasn't shifted or changed yet. Know that it's just the temporary projection of you. It's all you. There is nothing outside of you it's all happening, existing within you right now. And this is just a projection, just a temporary reflection. This is just not worth me focusing on. It's not worth me feeling bad. You make these, this choice consistently. Watch how your life changes because you changed. What's going to happen now? You shift into a parallel reality where you're living a different life. It's a different version of your, your world. It's a different version of earth, different version of the people you think you know. You've got a different past. You change the past and the future from the now. In that parallel reality, you're not trying to fix this. It's done. So know that it's done and stop trying to fix it. Yes, take aligned action. If it's coming from an inspired or better feeling place, right? Follow your inspiration, your impulses, but, but keep in that knowing that I don't have to worry about this. I can focus on it, I can take action, but I don't have to worry about this and I'm not going to. And that automatically puts you in alignment with what you want on the timeline of it in the moment that you make that choice. This gap between what you want and where you are now, you created that gap. You can close it at any moment and it's all about the moment by moment choices. You gotta choose differently than you normally would. You gotta remind yourself that you don't need to fix anything or change anything or anyone here. You just need to align with the version of your life, the reality, the parallel reality that you want, that you prefer. And you do that in the moment that you choose to stop worrying about this. You become indifferent to it. You become kind of like, not as affected by it. It doesn't affect, it doesn't control your mood, therefore it controls your vibration and what you're attracting, right? You don't allow it to control how you feel. You choose how you want to feel regardless. And yes, feel your emotions, think the thoughts and feel the emotions, the negative emotions, but then let them go. Let them go and make the new choice then the manifestation will reveal itself to you. It's really a closing of the gap between the old you and the new you. Well, how do you become the new you? Exactly what I mentioned. Stop worrying about the past. Stop practicing the old story. Let that go. Start making the new choices of thoughts, feelings, and actions. The old story, the past, what has happened, what has been happening that you don't prefer, it's no longer serving you to give your attention to it. You must decide to let it go. It has played its role. It has helped you to expand and to grow, but now you must move into this new state, this, this new reality and let yourself go there. Move, like go with the flow by giving up trying to control the outer conditions, which don't mean anything. They're temporary projections, as I said, temporary manifestations, your thoughts and your emotions, 
and the outer conditions in your life, none of that is reality. You are the reality. Give yourself permission to let go of that weight and start being who you wanna be, feeling how you wanna feel and have that life now. Okay, if you did enjoy this video, let me know by commenting down below, giving this video a thumbs up for me and subscribing. And if you would like to work together, that information's in the description box below for you. Thank you for being here. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.